hello hello i'm gonna get straight into this video because otherwise i ramble a lot i'm already starting to a little bit very simple very quick I, you know me no makeup makeup is kind of my jam so yeah let's just do it okay so i've already moisturized and done skincare stuff let me show you i've also put on sunscreen this is the one i use most days because it also doubles as a moisturizer and because i put so much stuff in terms of serums and things like that on my skin i don't always want like a really heavy moisturizer on top of all of that too so i just apply spf i'm gonna spray my face just because why not <laughs> i've also already filled in my brows i really like the way they look like this I just put in like a little bit of brow gel and then I used a spoolie to brush them up. I like my brows to kind of keep their fullness so I don't do too much. This takes like all of 30 seconds to do. But going in with the Becca Skin Love Primer. I really like this. I feel like it does like smoothen out my skin. What I use for foundation I just use a stick foundation. I love this foundation so much because it matches my skin kind of perfectly. Although I'm pretty sure this exact stick is month expired at this point because I bought this maybe three years ago. I bought this foundation when ABH first released the foundation sticks. So do the math. It's definitely expired and I definitely need to put it down. When I did this look on Sunday, Saturday, I used the Black Radiance Foundation Stick, like the darkest shade of that to contour. But it's kind of hot outside today. And so I'm feeling like maybe I should pull back on the cream products a little bit. Instead, use my Sephora Gel Serum Concealer. The Black Radiance Foundation Stick gave me like cheekbones, cheekbones. This is just gonna give me like warmth. You feel me? Same brush. Just because like it's a like five minute makeup video. I ain't nobody got time to be out here changing brushes. And for me, like, if it's all complexion stuff, I'm just, I'm not pressed. I like to blend my contour upwards. To kind of intensify the look of whatever shadow it's gonna give me. Let's do powder now. So, I love this little brush. Becca in Love. What color pop? Okay, let's start with the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Fresh Powder. I used to use the Laura Mercier one like relentlessly, but it's a little drying. I'm just gonna push this powder into my skin, but I will go over to like set my whole face, and then I will go over right here with a lighter powder so that I can get the effect of the highlight that you get from concealer without having to actually put on concealer. Powder is done. What are we gonna do? Blush. Trini London lift the cheek, no surprises here. And I like to apply this like right up like into my hairline because it lifts my face versus like when I apply it all the way in here. I feel like it doesn't do very much for my face shape because my face is kind of like wide and like I have hella cheeks going on I just I prefer the look of using blush as like a contour almost just a little bit of something okay more powder I learned this from watching too much mouth on YouTube who got it like who like learned it from professional makeup artist or something using like a little fluffy eyeshadow brush for your um, under eye setting <music> I 
and this probably looks a little crazy right now but it will come together because i kind of want like a matte brown eye situation so i'm gonna use this little flat eyeshadow brush and the color pop brow gel in black and brown i mean brow color whatever and i'm just gonna pat this all over my eyelid and hope it makes for a good like matte brown little situation this may or may not work so it might be way too dark yeah it is hella dark but i feel like it's gonna do what i need it to do you might not even be able to tell the difference when i'm finished which is kind of what my makeup generally looks like it's like girl you did hella steps and for what Just like that. It's kind of just following my natural eye color. I'm gonna wipe off this powder in like two seconds. So, and then back to this good old brush. And Lord, please let this powder wipe off. Just to get that to make a little bit more sense. <laughs> I'm gonna use this Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. This is a really, really nice powder. Swish around in there and just like press into it to tone down that color a little bit because the color of powder is just like almost white on me, which like that doesn't always work out. Contour Black Radiance Contour Palette. This is the darkest shade, um, the darkest kit. I'm gonna use this shade and just oof, oof, oof. Always tap your brush off. Always, always tap your brush off before you end up looking like me. Looking crazy out in these streets. And we are almost done with highlight. Max Strip Cream in Gold Light. I love how this was supposed to be like a quick little five minute fake video. You now it's going on like a half hour. Okay. Oh, that's way too much. Why do I keep doing this today? No, 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 no. Take, take it back, take it back, take it back. There you go. Love you around. Like my hand. There you are. I love this brush for her. Right. And I like using liquid highlights because they just blend into everything else you have on your skin. Okay, setting spray. I love me a fine mist. Kind of let the setting spray sit for a little bit. And then I'm gonna go in with my little beauty blender dupe. And just push. Setting spray in. The actual last thing is mascara. I don't wear lip products typically, so after this we're done. And even though I only wear lip balm, I still like to line my lips. So we're gonna go And this is the finished look Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you for all of the followers. Thank you for all your comments and your likes on my content. I just like, I appreciate it all so much. Um, I hope you like this video, even though it's kind of all over the place. This is just how I get ready. So yeah, bye.